Southern District Councillor and Stewart Island local Bruce Ford is passionate about the heritage of Rakiura, which is why he is one of many locals behind the construction of its new heritage centre to tell the story of the island's colourful history. We've had uh, sawmilling in the early days and a lot of the bush here is, is second growth so it's all been milled at least once and uh, then we've had all the whaling industry, uh, sealers in the very early days so all that history is uh, you know, it, it's pretty much uh, got our fingers on it, it's recorded and uh, that would be part of the displays. He said while the current museum has done its job for almost 60 years, the new $3.6 million heritage centre would use modern technology and displays to tell the island's history. It's not sort of fit for purpose is the guts of it, so that's really where we're coming from now. We need to better exhibits, better displays, everything needs to be a tad better to show it to people. This will be a modern display and some modern technology so it won't be the same sort of glass cases like you might find in some old museums. Construction was supposed to begin over summer this year but after 18 years in the making Ford said another few months won't hurt to get the job done right. It began many many years ago and it's taken a a lot of chasing to get the funding for that so that's been a major win uh, we're about to sign the documents for the contractors you would expect to be starting in spring anyway because the ground has to be uh, firmed up and piles to be driven so there's a lot of that sort of work and we're conscious of short days in the winter that we don't get our money's worth out of the men otherwise. If construction dates go to plan Ford said the museum collection could be moved to the new building in around 12 months' time. Sharon Rees, The South Today.